My name is Xavier, and welcome back to the warm, warmy McWarms. A lot of sitting by. It looks like if and shivering over here. <laughs> Look, I'm like warm, warmy McWarms a lot, and his like hands are in his pants. Like, well, I guess he could be shivering for some other reason. But in any event, let's get out of here before I get myself too preoccupied oh, with other random things I shouldn't be occupied with. Uh, number, actually, number one. Let me come in here and set up my party management. No. Uh, formation. There we go. So I want to have... I am kind of a rogue. I want to be a little bit behind. I want my front line to be the Red Prince. I want Beast to be up on the flank, and I want Iffen to be way the hell out back. That's our d default formation. Not exactly sure how big of a formation that's going to be. Ooh, that's actually perfect. Look at this lineup here. Except that I'm the one leading, and I should probably have the Red Prince doing that most of the time. Maybe I can... Um, let me think about this for a second. Let's just put myself off to the side, then. Uh, like this, and I will indeed keep Iffen that far back. So our default formation will look something like this most of the time. That's good. That way I, I won't, like, immediately get grouped upon by a million guys. Uh, and let's go talk to Losa and see if I want to replace the Red Prince with her or not. Also, Dominic, did I talk to... Yeah, he was the, um... He was the guy who was like, Oh, the Lord shall save us, and such. Losa, what do you have to say, friend? Hey, I know you. Hey! Yeah, yeah, we were both playing with the children on the boat, if you recall. Losa, the dark-eyed jokester you met aboard the ship, waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Back then I was <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube, and you were... I kind of rejected this Madame Josephine Gribbles de Peep nonsense. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see what she you. says about that. Yep. <laughs> Glad to see you made it. Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? Well, uh, that's a good question. I fell into the water and we're nearly lost. Me too. Yeah, well, it was a sinking ship. I mean, this isn't like a big surprise. Did you hear something? When you were in the water, I mean. Uh, yes. I was curious that she would also know this. Huh. I'm going to avoid answering, though. Ask if she heard something. You know what? I'm just going to be direct. What the hell do I care, right? Yeah, sure. I heard the same thing. Do you know what this means? It means I'm not the only... The only... Her voice is very familiar. Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus, and her whole body goes rigid. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Eh, let's slowly approach and shake her shoulder. Her head snaps to you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours, dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The gray veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. Anyway, what were we talking about? What the hell is all this nonsense? I don't know what it means. I don't know what we're talking about, but why are you acting so strangely? Ah, oh, it's nothing really. It's just, I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. Um, waggle a rackish eyebrow and ask if she's implying you should make yourself at home. Ha, what I mean is, look. You've never been a, a host, right? That's what I was That's thinking. because you're like a clump of leaves on the side of the road. What? what that ain't what? bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. You know what? Technically, I guess that's true. If I could look at my character right now, I am just a clump of leaves <laughs> kind of walking around on the side of the road. And it's also true that probably most anyone would give anything to look like me. So, eh, I, can, I can buy it. But I'm a... A roadside inn, red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Ah, uh, yes, the red door inn, where every night is half off, and no one asks what's behind the blue door. Like a God's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. God's damn gold star inn. Hmm. So what is she hosting, is my question. Or how many being? No. Let's ask her how many being she's hosting. Feels like just one, strangely enough. Big one, though. Don't know its name yet, either. It takes time for them to get comfortable and introduce themselves. 
So, how are you enjoying the joy? Oh, I don't know anything about Is this something in Divinity 1 that was, like, brought up at some point? Because it seems like I should know more about this if I have these options coming up. But anyway, let's say, um... Here the accommodation was exceptional and you had to see for yourself. So true. And you can stay as long as your heart desires, free of charge. Wow. We seem to be hitting it off, this girl and I. Hmm. However, I do like tr traveling around in my band of merry men, as it were. So, adding a female. I I'm literally sussing her up here. This is the interview. This is like a legitimate job opportunity. And someone's going to get fired if we like her. So, I don't know. I don't know what to, th what to think here so far. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength and numbers and all wow, that. Wow, she gets right to it, huh? Hmm. Hmm, I want to hesitate. Mention I'm not so sure about travel companion with an otherworldly speeder inside of her. Mostly because I can't say yes because we don't have room for it, so. Who said anything about otherworldly? Demons and brain ghosts are just as mundane as you or I. Mostly you. <laughs> So, want to go together? I I don't really have many choices. It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. So you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, when, push comes to shove. Lately, I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. Well, I think enchanting is so, just fine and dandy. Sounds fine. So we're good to go? Yeah? Hey, wait a sec. It looks like you have all the company you need. Maybe another time, when you're a bit more on the lonely side. Till then. Alright, well, it's her or it's the Red Prince. It's her or the Red Prince, I think, for sure. Yes, by all means, let us partake in the art of conversation. Right. Well, I think the Band of Merry Men. Red Prince, what do you think we should do next? I intend to rule an empire one day, not a tiny outcropping in the sea, lording <laughs> over gulls and guppy fish. <laughs> it's settled. Red Prince it is. To that end, I suggest we focus on the obvious. A farewell to Fort Joy and a hello to the mainland. That This reminds me, I was going to talk to... I completely forgot. I was going to talk to Ifen on the bench. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that next episode. No, I'm going to do it right now. Let's see. I am pretty happy that he's survived the shipwreck uh, he was in. As am I. A prince should <laughs> die of old age or on the battlefield. Anything else could be construed as weakness of character. That said, I've the distinct feeling I wasn't meant to die today. For despite your heroics, I was still cast into the water. I sank. I drowned. But there was something in the water. A voice made of air that soothed my flooding lungs. There was sudden light, warmth, life. That's exactly what I saw. Truly. How intriguing. To hear a voice whilst drowning is a rather specific delusion to share, is it not? Well, obviously it wasn't a delusion, you doofus. What did I- I had a name for this guy. It was like, mm, uh, the magnificent mumbo jumbo man? No, that wasn't it. Uh, the magnanimous Dufa? Nah. I can't remember now. Still, I wonder if he hesitates. Are you a religious person? <laughs> no. I'm rather relieved to hear it. Religious persons tend to be all too self-important in their supposed humility. As for myself, I perform the ancient rites of prayer and ceremony with a kind of languid indulgence. After all, when one is revered by many as a living god oneself, Public deprecation would be needlessly self-important as well, wouldn't you say? Uh, I guess there's nothing I can really respond to, but let me ask him how many assassins have been sent after him. Dozens, I should imagine, but if we're talking about the ones that came after my exile, this would be number five. Let them come, I say. Keeps one sharp. All right, I have decided it, the Red Prince it is and the Band of Merry Men shall travel forward. Alosa, good day to your demon. Also, this reminds me of uh, Dragon Age Origins with like the kid in like the town in the west. I forget what it was called where he was like inhabited or whatever. Uh, but in any event, yeah, I'm very happy with this party, but this means I want to get somebody who can do some healing. So let's run on down here. Let's go buy that healing book and figure it out. Ooh. Let's go talk to this guy, Rezik. 
I fear it will be quite some time before we find any answers at all. All right, friend. this is the guy. Though it doesn't mm. go. I also turned up the voices in game a little bit, like 10, 15 percent, because they felt a little bit low to me. But now the ancillary ones in the distance are a little bit loud. But anyway, I'm going to buy restoration here, and I'm going to try to figure out some way to trade up $324. Well, I got 367 I don't particularly need, need it, to be honest. Uh, but I can also sell all these stupid garbage things here. Improvised staff. We don't care about none of that. Get it out of here. Toy crossbow, gone. I should really soak all these things, though, before I sell them. Get a little bit of extra money. Those ones were all soaked. All right, looks good enough. Let's uh, match up the money, except voila. Now, leave him be. And let us think, who should be the person who can cast the spell? Not me, because I'm busy stabby-stabbing. Ifin's a little bit... Uh, he doesn't do very much right now, so he could do it. But honestly, it probably makes more sense to have someone who's a caster do it. And in fact, I think I'm going to have the beast do it. The only thing is he's already split into two different uh, attributes here. He's a... Uh, well, we also have Geomancer Warfare, and the Beast has Aerothurge Warfare. You know what? Can't hurt to have some Hydrosophus. Boom! There you go, the Beast. Congratulations. We're going to toss onto you the book I can't find. It's right here. Hold on. Let me, let me make sure I don't screw this up. I have to give it to him like this and then hit uh, Learn Skill. Yet so quickly. We find source so deep. Wonderful. Now we've got Restoration. Restore 11 vitality for two turns. It also cures poison and bleeding. Awesome. A little bit of healing. This should go a long, long, long way. What's up here? Ooh. Someone had told me I missed a chest outside on the... F Ooh, a sharp rock. Don't get distracted by this. I just want to make me some, uh, some sticks or whatever. I'll probably do crafting off screen, like between episodes or something. Tales of the Seven Gods. Who are you? Waltz. Come back, hey, you, come back over elf. here. What you heard about a crate of stolen supplies? And don't you lie to me now. <laughs> well, I can't help you, but I hope she has a great day. <laughs> she seems to fight the smile that appears at the corners of her lips. <clears throat> oh, get will ya. Uh, what? What do you mean, get will ya? Hey, we were having a conversation here, friends. What, what are you talking she about? She grins at the side of you, but quickly puts on a heart. Heard of anyone that might have taken Griff's supplies yet? All right. Well, I don't know what Griff's supplies are. Tell the pinky. Okay, no. Um, I don't know anything about this, but I do sense a good opportunity. So tell me more. Huh. What do I need your help for, Freshie? By the looks of you, you couldn't find a bush in a brothel. Mm, this isn't one of those sexual innuendo things I'm not, I don't understand. If you're done wasting my time... I've got a crate to find. All right, well, she doesn't want to tell us so that. Ooh. This is for Joy. We finally made what it into crumbling disaster. Seven episodes in, we it's finally made it into the fort. Heading into the kitchen. Butter. Don't try anything funny around Griff. I'm watching you. Ask her if she likes what she she what she sees. Ha! Cheeky. What's your name? Uh, she can call me whatever she wants. Wait a minute. <laughs> Break into a cold sweat upon realizing the line has actually worked and stammer something unintelligible. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Sorry, I didn't catch uh -oh. that. Oh, blush intensely and say you have to go. Really? Oh, um, okay, bye. <laughs> Don't tell anyone where you got this, eh? What the heck? Hey, you're a little light in your pack, ain't you, girl? Who could blame you with the garbage they got for sale around here? Why don't you take a gander at the goodies I got? Stuff you won't find anywhere else in camp. Procured by special means. What sort of special means are you talking about? Let's just say folks leave here, but they don't seem to take their effects. Hmm. Maybe I happen to know where everything ends up. Isn't Griff going to be angry to see you selling to an elf? Although, to be fair, I don't remember who Griff is. Boss don't mind where the gold comes from, as long as he gets his cut. Have a look, why don't you? Your cash is plenty good here. Yeah, as long as you say it's good stuff. Only the finest, you know. Whoa! Hey, here we go. She's got the Scoundrel book. She's got Chloroform, which we already have. Adrenaline, which we already have. 
Backlash, which we have, but Throwing Knife, which I do not have. Uh, I do have one memory well, slot. More rations, so, dealing 6 to 8 physical damage plus 3 to 4 to poison can backstab. Interesting. I could grab this and then give myself some sort of ranged, basic ranged attack without having to switch over all the time. That would be awesome. Let's grab it. Uh, in addition, they have a mantle, chest armor for 9 magic, 3 physical. Ooh, that's $500, though. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for poor little old us. We're probably going to find a lot of this stuff on the ground pretty soon. I'm thinking of actually buying a shield for um, the beast, but we're kind of we're kind of broke right now, so maybe I won't. Bloody hell! I keep forgetting to uh, combine all my stuff with poison. I'm pretty sure we don't need 27 cooking pots, beasts. right? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep on uh, one gold cups. Don't have any value. I think we're just gonna sell those. And I'm not never gonna sell all my toys. Like my toy blocks. I I'm making the ultimate dollhouse. The ultimate dollhouse. But yeah, otherwise, we're kind of running out of stuff here. I'm just going to sell this stuff regardless. I don't really need it. Magical Wand of Nature. Eh. I don't need it if I buy this book. We'll sell it. First bow. We'll get rid of it. And you know what? We do got all these shells. I don't really we'll care. Rations, just please. sell them up. Yeah, it looks good. And that should be pretty close. We can make up the difference in money like that. And voila! I accept your offer. Awesome! Uh, let's st stop talking to her for a minute. And... If I couldn't uh, swing up here, it's throwing knife book. Let us learn the skill. Voila! We now have the ability to throw knives. Let's also move some of these things around if I could. How do I actually move them? Are they locked? Ah, yeah, there we go. We have to unlock it. Uh, let's toss... Don't catch that down here and put the throwing knife there. Okay, looks good. We'll go back to relocking that. Cool! Well, now I got some ranged ability to help out the squad without having to worry about... Oh, does... Does Ifen have a... a no, his, his bow is poisoned. I can barely see it there. Uh, but yeah, now I don't have to worry about switching over to a ranged to weapon. Him, and we have a heal. Now we're way better off to deal with things. Let's go talk to this girl one more time, because I think I failed with her. Oh. I try... <laughs> I'm very busy for the moment, so, uh, bye. What? Oh, what? Oh. However, she has elemental arrows. She has ricochet, pin down, and first aid. Heals target for 13 vitality. Oh, God, it cures knockdown, blind, silence, bleeding, burning, poison, disease, crippled. Oh, my lord. Set rested for one turn. One requires huntsman. We need this. We need this for Ifen. That would be so beneficial. I'm going to drum up some way to make this happen right now. And there we go. 300. I had to give them basically all my books, all my fish, all my herbs, all my money, all these random garbage items, and two life essences, and four small poison bottles. But first aid skill book, yoink. Thank you very much. That also cleans up my inventory very nicely. We are looking good now. Absolutely. We have so many more options. Let's send this to... I don't want to learn it. Combine with Send to the Red Prince, Send to the Beast. Oh, am I already on Ifen? Yes, I am. All right, let's learn it. Voila! Now we have first aid. All right, we got, we got heat restoration, we got first aid, we got teleport. And I'm feeling like we're ready to go do some fighting if we need to. Noosey. Let me guess. You're here for a match. Don't know what you heard, but they won't take it easy on you just because you're an elf. I should hope not, if they, whoever they are, wish to remain undigested. Ha! That's the spirit. Down the hatch, then. Thorn will eat you up. Uh, what the hell are they? What's going on? Well, what what have I got things. myself into? Um, here we go! Uh, or not. Are they talking about this hatch right here? Let's do it. Should I say? I should save first, just in case. I don't know what I'm getting into. Uh, this must be the hatch, though. Ooh! Hey, some vases, yes. Yes, no, nothing in- Whoa, what the- um, What? I can- Did I just put that vase on the other vase? Can I do vase stacking? Oh my lord! This is so cool! Take thanks for that old rotten meat. But guess what though, friends? Vase breaking! Come on, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, I thought that would be a lot cooler than it was, but... Whatever. What do we got over here? Okay, hold on. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Ooh. 
This is some kind of sort of arena. Thola the Thorny One. You come to fight. You come to prove yourself. You come to be worthy. There can only be one. And you have but one chance. Interesting. What does she have for sale? She's got nail bomb grenade and stained pants. Ask her what, what you're meant to prove here. She scoffs. To prove you are the one. The one what? Never mind. The one does not ask such a question. Oh yeah? You want to fight? Good. Who aids you? Choose wisely. Whether you fail or succeed, you do not fight more than once. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think I'm going to need some assistance here. I'd like nearby party members to join you that are at your command. Change your mind. You'll fight no one now. I want to say I'd like my nearby party members to join me. Ah, here they are. What the hell am I getting myself into? What? Okay. It's looking like we got Rex the dog out here. Then me. Then we got Verla the avid one. Hey, Rex. How's it going, friend? What's your deal? Level 311 HP, 62 armor. That's crazy. Verly the avid one. Level 305. God, she looks awesome. She's like a vampire hunter. I want that hat. She got some cool armor, too. God, she's all decked out. Uh, after that, we've got Ailsa, the cultured one. Oh, hello! She's got some magical floating staves of sorts. God, she looks pretty cool. And then we have Gideon, the tenacious one. Gideon! All right, he seems... So it seems to me that they have, like, a warrior. They all seem to have a, around the same, like, amount of stuff. 50 physical... Actually, no, this one has less physical, high magic. This one has more of a physical, low magic. This one over here has kind of like high magic, okay, and low physical. This one has just physical. Interesting. So it's 4v4 here. Uh, let us assess the surroundings first. Woo! Look at this place. And then here must be the loot. For the, to the victor goes the spoils. Also, we've got over here some ooze. Over here some oil. If I look in here, I'm seeing some more oil. And out here, I'm seeing nothing. Very important to know what I'm doing here. We got some oil up there. An oil barrel there. I'm over here. Uh, what is this? Water? Yeah, that's a water barrel. More oil on the ground here. An explo- Oh, oil- or a poison barrel there. And then here's some oil up there. And nothing else over there. Okay. Now, it's important to note their dog is gonna go after Ifen goes. And then I go. I'm gonna have to get, like, very close and teleport up to this girl. So what I'm thinking here is... This is a pretty serious fight, it looks like. I kind of want to use a fire arrow for once. I do have one right here. Fire arrow, what's my range? It's nowhere near enough. It takes four action points to get out there. My range is up here, so you know what? Let's do this with Ifen. Can we actually get up here? That's going to be two action points, leaving us two more, followed by the two and the fire arrow, and he'll also have elevation from up here. So you know what? Ifen, let's go up on the, the balcony here with your first move for two action points. Awesome, and then from that location, let us indeed cast a fighter arrow. If I, I can hit her with the fighter arrow, but I don't know if that's necessarily going to blow up all this, the stuff on the ground. I mean, I could target it right here, but that also might not hit her exactly. Maybe I should just poison her then, or maybe I should just shoot a regular arrow, or I could fossil strike her. Uh, that would work, and then we can we can spread more poison all over the place. Let's go for it, fossil strike, and just lob a boulder right in her face. Boom! All right, she's slowed, and all of that stuff is poisoned all over the place. Fantastic. The dog has gone. Now it's my turn, followed by Viral the Avid One. Interesting. Well, after me goes the beast. So one thing I want to do is get a little bit closer. I want to probably move as close as I can get, actually, for free, which is zero action points right there. Let's do it. We'll move on down. And now I'm thinking Firestorm Grenade, right? Oh, I gotta move another action point to pull that off. Let's indeed move the other action point to the... L well, let's come straight up to the front, I suppose. I was thinking of going to the left to get away from the Spellcaster, but at the same time, I don't think I have a huge amount of range. Oh, there we go. We'll hit the dog, hit the poison, hit her. Uh, fun times ahead, Firestorm Grenade. Oh, poof! Awesome! We got a burning dog, and now she's just sitting here, oddly, not on fire. Okay. Amazingly, she can do that. If I get in there right now, I'm gonna have problems with this crazy guy back there. So my thinking is, 
I'm gonna not do that. And I'm actually, I might even just, fall, you know what, I think I'll just sit here. And I should be fine. I hope. I do always have the potion of invisibility if I super need it. So, let's end the turn. Okay, burning blocks by magic armor. Okay. She, tactical retreats. I want that. And she just threw dust on the ground over here. The arena of Fort Joy. First aid, new skill. Why am I getting all these pop-ups right now? Throwing knife, scoundrel. Shouldn't I got these all a long time ago? Uh, now I got restoration. They're all just showing up now for some reason. Well, she did just throw, throw dust in our eyes. Unfortunately, we weren't spread out. Uh, I did set up my formation too, but I guess it just doesn't matter when you go into the arena. You're all like in a button or whatever and they can AOE you, so whatever. Uh, we still have the cultured one up there. Now I understand magic armor apparently blocks burning. Oh, look at this though. Isn't this game amazing looking? Like I'm not even really looking at very much. It's just so cool. Look at that dog. He's just on fire. Well, one thing we need to do for sure. I think I want to cast teleportation here. It costs two points to do it though. Can we move up to a place where... How far is the range on this? Choose a target. Choose target. Target is too far. How far are... Oh! I can't do this because I'm blinded. I have no range right now. So basically I can't do anything useful. Huh. I could use my scrolls. They're $100 for a fighter ball scroll, but they're all grouped up. Oh, my lord. Do I want to do that right now, though? I want to get close enough to battering ram, but again, I'm blinded, so I can't really deal with that. I don't want to be too close to this oil barrel, that's for sure, but I want to be spread out from everybody else. So you know what? Let's kind of get up here for now. I'll just use two action points to run my way up there. Awesome. Do we have any... We could cast restoration for one action point on someone. I'm going to say... Let's cast it on yourself. The beast. Bloop. There we go. Fantastic. And that's going to be pretty much the end of your turn. I'm a little worried their spellcaster goes next. Let's see what they do. Armored Frost on Rex. Interesting. He's got a magic shell now. Now she's doing some sort of fossil strike. Oh! She did a whole different animation there. Did you guys see that? She, she like, pulled it up in front of her and they did, like, a backflip and kicked it out. God, I love how they have all different animations for that. So, poor, poor, poor the Red Prince is sitting here, blinded and standing in oil slowed and being hit by dust in the face and fossils on the ground. It's ridiculous, this poor guy. I think we're going to need to fortify him because he's getting very low right now. Uh, what is his potential armor? 17 out of 17, but if I click up here, physical armor 17 out of 7. Okay, I guess we don't need to fortify right now. Huh, what do I do? I can't really do anything because we're blinded is the thing, so... All I can really do is get out of here and kind of... That's it. So why don't we move down here into a position where we're a little bit more away from the oil. And otherwise, you know what? I think I might cast haste on my on somebody. Sets haste on a target character. Haste increased movement speed by 2 meters per AP and gives an additional 1 AP per turn. Clears slowed and cripple effects. Okay. Uh, I guess one additional AP per turn. That doesn't sound... I was thinking of putting it on me so I could really go to town on one of these guys, but I'm not sure if it would matter. Uh, I'm not sure how many points I'm going to have when it comes to be my turn. So it's, it's probably better off using to cast uh, or to cure slowed. So do I want to fortify someone? Maybe Ifen. I mean, he's standing up there kind of all by himself, but no, I think I'm going to save this for him next turn. Do I need to use a healing potion? I don't think so. I think we can wait. Let's just wait. Here we go. Here comes their big warder. He's just going to run up into the open like a doofus for sure. Oh! He's actually going to encourage everybody. He's very similar to our Red Prince. This is a very even match they've got here. So I've got four action points now on Ifen. After me goes the dog. This guy's down there as well. We can shoot for plus 30% damage, which is great. They all have physical armor, so we can't pin them down in that regard. These targets are too far away. I kind of want to kill the dog first. 118, 59, 62, 118 is basically the same stuff. Seems like the dog now has magic armor as well from the magic shell, apparently. He's going to have that for three turns. Maybe it makes sense to try to ignore the dog and go for this guy from Elevation. Uh, I do have the fighter ball, don't forget. I can always do that. Hold on. Was I doing that? Yeah. I could, could not quite cast... Oh! 
I can sort of cast it up here. But not really. I'm thinking that doesn't make any sense. The smart move here... I could encourage everybody for three turns. I probably should. Let's go for that. Yeah, we hit the whole squad. Go for it. Two can play at the encourage game, friend. Unfortunately, this means we can only shoot once. And so I'm thinking we just shoot at him. Plus 30% high ground, 95%. Go for it, Iffin. Nice. 13 with additional three from poison. That's the end of your turn, friend. And here comes the dog. Burning blocked by magic armor. He runs up to me and he bites me for 21 damage. You gotta be kidding me. No way. No way that he just hit me for 21 damage. Could I move behind the dog without, without procking the attack of opportunity? According to this, no. But I feel like I might be able to. Let's let's go here. And then if I go here, 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 here. No, none, none of that works. Okay, well. Let's just go to town on this dog then. We're going to go backlash and jump right over this doofus. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, let's toss up the flesh sacrifice. We are going to go crazy. I probably should have done that before the jumping behind him. I guess I'm going to go after the dog, even though I didn't really want to be doing this right now. But, oh well. It, it'll work for us. A stabby stabby. Go for it. Nice. 70... F I didn't hit that thing for 74, did I? No, I think it was 7 and 4. That's what it was. We can do this again for sure. Awesome. Let's go for an adrenaline rush now. How much does the dog have? He still has 31 and 9. That is absurdity. I've got nothing. I've got no physical armor, no magic armor. These guys are gonna own me. They're gonna own me. Maybe I need to go invisible. Well, I always have resurrection scrolls, and they don't, right? I can't even sleep the hound. I think I'm just gonna go flurry to try to break through its armor at the very least. Let's go for it. Stabby, stabby. Okay, all manner of damage. Here comes their crossbow. They hit for 24? What? And they shot the barrel. Ooh, and that barrel landed po or, uh, oil all over the ground there. Absolutely, lootly crazy, friends. Well, is it time for teleportation? <laughs> when does the dog go? Um, so the beast goes, then the red prince goes, and then this big guy goes. I would love to throw him with two action points up on top of here. Uh, that says the target's too far. I would have to move down to do that, but unfortunately, moving down's not really going to work for me. Okay, let's do this then. Let us teleport. Hold on. Let me let me let me teleport the dog on top of the warrior and also get him back out of the way where I don't really care. 2 AP, 13.1 meter, choose teleport destination. Looks good to me. See you later, dog. Hit for 12, hit for 11. Awesome. Uh, now, we've only got three action points remaining here. I think we need to get in there with the beast. Like, we need to show these guys a lesson. Can we battering ram them? The answer is no, because I'm kind of up this ladder. I didn't realize you couldn't battering ram from a position of elevation. That's my mistake. Well, I'm feeling like I'm going to lose this horrifically if I don't go crazy. So, can I just cast, like, a fireball scroll here? Not enough AP. How much does it take to use it? Two. There we go. Okay, I don't know why it was telling me that. Can I cast it up here on these guys? No. But I can cast it on both of those, and quite frankly, I'm feeling like I just need to lay into them with as much damage as I can possibly get from a long range. Let's go for it. Fireball scroll. 100 gold. Bam! Hit for 12. Hit for 10. Burning. Got a dog burning. This guy's not burning, but whatever. I, I know his magic armor was going to prevent it, but regardless, we got to chew through it somehow. Here comes the wizard now. Searing daggers. Oh! The red prince is down to nearly nothing. Use Restoration on Rex, plus 45 healing, and here it comes, 45, 14, burning, the Red Prince is down on our turn. Holy mother of heavens, crippling blow on me for, what the hell, 23 damage, what? How the hell was I ever supposed to do this? This is like, absolutely dootly beyond my realm of how was i supposed to know how was i can i at least kill their dog let's try 95 percent from high grounds if and go for it put an arrow into him great there goes all this physical armor we hit they hit for 25 we hit for 10. like that's what's happening here can i grab some elemental stuff 
Is there any uh, anything I can grab? Not that it would really matter. Nope, no such luck. End the turn. Here comes the dog. He's burning. He's also restoring his health, though. I don't think the dog can get up here. Luckily, we're still healing a little bit here. I could resurrect, but God, how much money do I want to blow into this fight? It's, it's like 0% chance of working out for me. Like 0%. Can I even move down here? Yeah, we have two action points. We can move all the way. Oh, bloody hell, burning. can never tell if I'm going to get lit on fire or not. Well. Uh... How much hit points does this guy have? 34 to physical armor? No chance of this working out for us. I feel like I should just, like, abandon it. Speaking of, abandon the ram! We can charge right into this guy, I suppose, and hit him a little bit. <laughs> Knockdown, awesome. That's about the extent of what I can do. Here comes their crossbow poison arrow on the ground now that immediately lights on fire. <laughs> These guys are wrecking me! How could I ever have done this in the first place? Uh, this guy's gonna come up now. The bee- Oh, no, he's coming up to Iffin. Oh, what is he- Whoa! He whirlwinded Iffin for 22! Huh. Well, we can't pin him down. The dog down there at 97 and regenerating. Nothing I can- There is literally nothing I can do. These guys, I mean, I'm not even... Uh, two of my guys are dead. The other two are at half health. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. Let's just shoot the guy. Yeah, I, I, we lose the arena. Wow. Their dog's no longer locked down, but I mean, really, what difference does that make? Can we go for, um, Blinding Radiance? Will it hit up there on him? Nope, of course it won't. <laughs> Why would it actually hit on him? Uh, I could petrify the dog, but that would put out his burning... Ugh. 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 Alright, let's just go for a flurry and stand here and meet our fate. Yep. Well. Blinded again. Oh, these guys are dancing all the hails around. Fossil strike. Boom. Beast resisted death. Here comes the swing. Bye, Iffin. Oh, yep. He's down. My fight is strong. No way. Someone I'm will yet be chosen. Wow. The arena at Fort Joy closed. We fought in the arena, but we're defeated. We found the fighting arena. We learned that there's some sort of fighting arena. Closed. Well, well. I guess I lose that quest. Now I know. I wonder if I could have talked to these guys defeated. first. Narrowly, some might say. <laughs> no, nobody would Too say bad. that. Tell me, what is your strategy in battle? You may have lost, but your talent is clear. Um, I like to plan each strike with great care, assessing your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. A strategist, perhaps in need of some practice, but a strategist all the same. I will keep my eye on you. In spite of this recent failure. Oh, well. That's too bad. There is no shame in failing to become the one. Well, the thing of it is, is I feel like I should have yeah, talked a little bit more here. Good. This is what I get. <laughs> You're too puny. Ain't nothing gonna stop me from being the one. <laughs> Ivor, the vast one. He's just like, You're too puny. Get out. Get out. Shut the... Get out. Don't even shut the... Just get out. Defeated. Tell me, what is your strategy? Yeah, we already did this. I will keep. Okay, so. Yeah, it did say that you can only do this once. I probably should have taken the that as a cue to. Head left, you know. Then right. His eyes squint and his brows rise as if lifted by an unseen fish hook. Marcus? Marcus Miles? Beast glances at you and mutters. What? Best let me handle this. Shake your head. You're in charge here. Does it mean that I'm in charge? No, I'll do as he asks. That's beast nowadays, friend. He likes me. He likes that me, Pustan. That other name, long left that behind, I did. 
Right, right, sorry. Just hard not to see you as that wild-eyed troublemaker you used to be. It's been, what, over a decade, yeah? This dwarf really gets around. We've met like six people who know him already. Longer than that, too bad I'm cooped up here. Things are looking grim out there. Justinia's planning something big. Really big. Oh, bigger than what she's already managed. Say a single word against her, and a royal copper will throw you in a dank cell or carve the royal insignia on your throat. Unless you've got a handful of coin to donate to the kingdom, of course. <laughs> You're gonna need to blow this potweed stand if you want to stop her. But maybe this'll help, eh? Nab the key off that Krauss fella up above. <laughs> Not the brightest of the magisters. <laughs> would stick his head in a pig's ass and call it at. <laughs> Reckon it unlocks one of the doors to the prison. Though, not sure which. I'll tell you to take care crossing the Divine Order, but from what I hear, you can handle yourself just fine against Alexander's flunkies. Word gets around, does it? Well, I appreciate the help. I won't forget it. Interesting. Beast journal updated. All right, let's go take a look. He stumbled upon a childhood friend in the Fort Joy Arena by the name of Carson. He gave us a key that unlocks one of the prison doors, and we just need to figure out which one, all right? Bloody hell, I am sad that I screwed up this arena so badly, but at the same time, it's my own fault. No one to blame but myself. Shouldn't have run headlong, headlong into the charge. I just, I just got excited. I wanted to, ooh, look at this. Look at these, like, glow mushrooms. That's so cool. If and you want to come up here and just check out these mushrooms with me? Would you mind? Just, just like, come on. If and come over here, right? Get me. Let's come over here. Get me up there. If and get you up there, right next to me. This room. This room for both of us, right? Hold on. Look at this. Look at this scenic relationship building moment right now. We're looking out over the mushrooms, coming together in our defeat. Each day brings us one step closer. Just listening to these guys yammer in the background. What a peaceful, scenic ending. I think. The one will walk among us, though not today. I'm the only one with the guts. I deserve the glory. Ivar, no you don't, you doofus. Each day Wonder if I should have fought alone. Closer. I bet I could have done it alone, actually. Ah. I'm not gonna load that, though, because I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. I feel like I just need to go cry in a blanket or something. But well, this is a cool, a cool place, I think, to end this episode, just from the looks of it. It's peace. It's calm, it's tranquility. And it's a good remembering point. Hey, did I talk to Ifen yet? No, I didn't. <gasps> well, when's he returning? I will converse with Ifen about his personal quest. We will yet reveal the one. I'm the only one with the guts. I deserve the glory. While simultaneously trying to figure out how to turn those guys down, and I have learned my lesson. Going forward, I must be more tactical when speaking with people. Uh, as well as, also, I, I think I've learned to be tactical fighting I'm already, the only but... One with the guts. I deserve we will the yet glory. reveal the one. God, those guys are loud. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Leaves on the side of the road. What? What? That ain't what? bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. You know what? Technically, I guess that's true. If I could look at my character right now, I am just a clump of leaves <laughs> kind of walking around on the side of the road. And it's also true that probably most anyone would give anything to look like me. So, I can I can buy it.